What's going on guys, it's Calvin, welcome back to another Cubeboard tutorial. Today I'm going to talk to you about cities or villages um, in Cube World, um, which at the moment are pretty vital, you know, they're the kind of thing, you go and you get your glass balls to make potions and stuff like that. And I imagine so, they're going to get a lot more useful when uh, quests are added and other things like that. Um, so there's different types, there's, a, there's one city in each different biome. As you can see on the map here, we have this city, um, and this location here shows the specific, pretty much the biome. Now, well, I'd say that, but it's not really, but um, technically this area is like a biome, and then this would be technically a new biome, but it, it so much doesn't work like that. Um, anyway, biome's another different thing, so in each different biome there is a city, cities can be in four different styles. Well, there's more than four, but it, basically they can be log houses and stuff, sand kind of weird ruins, um, there's American style, UK style, and, and all that kind of different style of housing, depending on the specific biome itself. Um, and yeah, they're, they're all kind of laid out in a kind of simple way, as they all have different districts, which I will, they all have different districts. The districts in each city is divided into four, and as you can see when you zoom in the map, you will have Adventure District, Trade District, Crafting District, and Pet District. Each pretty much sums itself up in the title. In the Crafting District, there is two specific main areas that you can visit. You have the Anvil area, which is used to create weapons and iron, uh, and iron armor and iron weapons and stuff like that. And you also have this... Uh, sewing kind of area where you can use which is used to create cotton um, clothes and, and you know and silky things used for various different classes depending on your classes depending on which one you're going to use you also have the trade district it situates from the shop the armor shop the main shop the weapon shop and the directory shop the directory shop is pretty straightforward. You go in and it will give you information on specific objects. If you were to put this in, objects that are unidentifiable will go in here and it will tell you what they are. As you can see, leftovers is going to tell me it's going to cost two coins to identify what this is. I, as you can see, I clicked identify and I've now received an iron shield with plus 20 power uh, as you can see I can do this with any one of these um, as you can see these are green so this usually means that now these specific green ones means it's uh, just general power I think the different colors mean different things I'm not quite sure at the moment what they are as you can see I've used a floor, flawless skull bracelet and some iron boots, and boots. there we go so yeah. So again, I think the green ones are generally to mean that they are emerald, require emerald to, to make them. As you can see with the the star, it also means a specific thing. Um, and that's it's blue. So that's weird. It's gonna yeah. Anyway, over at the weapon shop, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. There's a sword on a sign. When you go in. You can go over and you can buy various different weapons for various different classes. Um, you know, the long, the more you go down the list, the more high power level they are, and uh, the more they're going to cost. Heading over to the general shop in the trade district. This is the general shop where you will buy your recipes and uh, bombs. As you can see, uh, the plus is how much power they have. You need to have that power level to buy it, as you can see. This is a plus 95 power, which means it's a very explosive bomb. And uh, it requires you to also have that power level. Now I only have a power 6 level, as you can see over here. Power 26, so... Can't buy these. Again, the longer down, the further down the list you are, the more... The higher power levels you're going to need. So you can also buy candy, boats, and, and... This is the main kind of shop that you would go to buy your flasks. To create water flasks, to then create your potions. 
Over at the, uh, the arm armory shop, it's pretty straightforward again. It's got like a little chest armor kind of thing on a sign, and it's pretty straightforward what you can actually buy here. Again, you just buy various different armor for different things. As you can see, this is this is gonna. As you can see, yeah. So the further down you go on the list, the more power level they're gonna cut, they're gonna be up. The more power, the higher the power level, sorry, and the more expensive it's gonna be. Heading on over to the adventure district. This is not exactly, as you can see, at the moment of this film and this video, it's not exactly important. Um, these people here are actually cla um, what you call them? These people here are class trainers, um, as you can see by the bottom. When you want to change something on your skill, uh, and you want to change it to something else, it will actually tell you that you need a class trainer to learn it. They're all situated in different areas of where these dummies are. So as you can see it's dummy here. They can be identified by their, their swords on the back. The big sword on the back is for a warrior. This guy is for a rug. A rouge. Rouge, I don't know are you really how you pronounce it. Um the guy with the crossbow over there is for a Ranger, and there should be another one for, and the other guy, like him, with the wand on his back, is for the uh, image. So, uh, you know, these actual dummies are kind of pointless. They don't really do much. I guess you can practice, but again, it, they're not they're not that amazing. So these are basically just class class trains in the adventure district. In the pet district, this is again straightforward. This is basically just an area that is full of pets. It's just little, it's just part, basically just land and um, some grass and stuff. And it's basically just full of pets uh, at the moment. Obviously, um, I'm not really quite sure what this is meant to be. But as you can see, it's full of pets. Uh, there's only a certain amount of pets. There's only pigs, dogs, cats, and sheep at the moment. That's pretty much all the pets they are. Um, but yeah. Also, in each city, there will be inns set around in various different places there is usually quite a lot of these inns and they do do quite a lot of stuff you can go up to them and you can set the time of day and um, there's only I think you can only set the time of day during 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Uh, or it might be 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. you can only set the time of day after 6 I think it's after 6 a.m. you can't set the time of day and but basically you go up to them and you basically talk to them, it's going to set the day. You can also go upstairs and sleep in a bed and it will recover your health. As you can see my health is now increasing. So yeah, inns are quite useful uh, if you don't want to waste your potions uh, when you're in the city. You don't need to because you can just go rest the bed. There's also farms that are implemented in at the moment. Obviously these don't do anything, as you can see. Um, but there are farms that contain pumpkins and pineapples, which can be used to create pumpkin uh, pineapple slices. And I don't know what food pumpkin makes, uh, but yeah. So as you can see over here, we have some pineapples. I don't think they grow back, but yeah, you can pick them up. You can also sell them. Um, so. Yeah, but I don't think they grow back, so it's not really a good source of money, because they're literally kind of pointless. But they're good food. Alright guys, so that wraps up this tutorial, showing you, you know, the city in, in detail of, of what every part does, the different districts, what's in them, and where to find everything. If it did help, please give me a like, that really will help me out. Uh, if you have any issues, or you want me to make a tutorial on something specific, then just put a comment below, and I'll uh, be sure to help you out. Anyway guys... I hope, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you later.